Welcome to Civil Engineering Online. Subject is Design of Precious Concrete Structures. Today's topic is on Module 4 Numerical of Shear Design of PSC Members with Ravi B. Thilakanji. Question number 1 A rectangular PSC beam of span 10 meter and effective cross section of 120 mm by 300 mm is actually precessed by a cable carrying an effective precessing of force. 180 kN. The beam has to support a total imposed load of 5 kN per meter, which includes self weight of the beam. Compare the magnitude of principal tensile stresses developed in the beam with and without actual precessing. Solution Length is given as 10 meter, precessing P is 180 kN, B is 120 mm, D 300 mm, A is equals to 120 by 300 is equal to 36,000 mm square. Total load W is equal to WD plus WL that is life load which is equal to 5 kN per meter. Shear force at supports V is equal to WL by 2. Substituting the values, shear force as supports will become as 25 kN. Therefore, ultimate shear force Vu is equal to 1.5 times V, which is 37.5 kN. Nominal shear tau V is equal to Vu by BD. After substituting the values of Vu by BD, we are able to have the nominal shear stress as 1.04 Newton per mm square. Moving to first part of the solution, Fx is equal to 0 and Fy is equal to 0, which is equal to without actual precessing. Therefore, maximum and minimum principal stresses is given by F max minimum is equal to Fx plus Fy divided by 2 plus or minus half of square root of into bracket Fx plus Fy whole square plus 4 times tau V square. So fx and fy values are 0, substituting the same into this and value of tau v into this particular equation. f max will become as plus 1.041 newton per mm square and f minimum will become as minus 1.041 newton per mm square. Similarly, when we put with actual precessing, that is with actual precessing is p by a fx is equal to so p by a is the horizontal precessing we are having fy is the vertical precessing fx is horizontal precessing which is given into the question that is precessing force p by a is the stress in horizontal direction the 180 kilo newton into 10 raised to 3 is the precessing force acting at area of the cross section we get f of x is equal to 5 newton per mm square. Vertical precessing is equal to 0. There is no precessing in vertical direction of the rectangular section. Principal stresses calculating with the same formula and substituting the values f max and f minimum. fx value is known to us, fy is 0. f max will become as 5.2 newton per mm square. f minimum will become as minus 2 newton per mm square. So this was the determining the principal stresses uh, problem. Second one, a PSC I section beam has the following properties. Cross sectional area 55,000 mm square, statical moment 468 into 10 to 4, moment of inertia is 189 into 10 to 7, size of the web, area of the web. This beam is precessed horizontally as well as vertically by using 24 wires horizontally and 2 wires of 5 mm dia each. So in this problem, we are able to see that it is vertically also precessed and horizontally also precessed. Estimate the principal stresses at the section where a shear force of 80 kN is acting, that is, it acts. Solution V is 80 kN shear force, area is 55 into 10 to 3 mm square, statical moment becomes as E into Y bar 468 into 10 to 4 mm to Q, I moment of inertia, B is 50 mm, assuming neutral axis in 
web we are going to proceed tau v is equals to v a y bar by i b v a y bar by i b when it is a type of i section in this part of figure we are considering the part of breadth is 50 mm substituting the values of the known nomenclature that is v a y bar by i b we are able to have the tau v nominal shear stress as 3.96.19 newton per mm square area of horizontal pre stresses that is pi by 4 phi square into 24 numbers 471 mm square area of vertical pre stressing pi by 4 phi square into 2 numbers fx is equals to p by a 900 into 471 this is horizontal pre stressing forces 900 mm square so we are able to have this f of x as 7.71 newton per mm square similarly f by p by a is equals to we able to get this in terms of p by a area is in the web so web dimensions we are considering in this part of vertical processing it comes 4.7 newton per mm square principal stresses f max or minimum substituting the value of fx and fy into the equation and value of tau v into the equation the equation is like this fx plus fy by 2 plus or minus half square root of fx plus fy square plus 4 times tau v square here minus because it is precessing in the opposite direction of vertical f max is 10.5 44 newton per mm square and f minimum as 1.97 newton per mm square hope you all have understood this sir. topic see you in the next topic numerical on i section thank you for watching please like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much